Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to make a twisted pan chocolat. So you can see I have here a slab of pastry, hand laminated. I've cut it into five sections. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a chocolate bar just here. I've split it about two centimeters down from the top. So you roll the pastry over. You put the second pan chocolat bar. Then I'm going to lift each one and I'm going to twist it three times. One, two, three. Put it down. Lift, twist. One, two, three. Put it down. Lift. Twist. One, two, three. Put it down. Lift. Twist. One, two, three. Now I'm not stretching the pastry. I'm literally only twisting it. And then I'm just going to straighten them up. Spray a little bit of water. Then I'm going to roll the pan chocolat up. The chocolatine Geraldine, if you're watching. And we end up with a pastry like this with five little twists. Now I have custom made shapes because what happens is the when they're proving the ends tend to fall over. So uh, I have a little square shape or a rectangular shape. We'll keep them in um, check. And I'm going to just put that down into the tin. So this is a, a plain version of uh, what I did for the Coupe de Monde Chocolatine last May in Toulouse. I'm using the same shape so you can see again I'm just twisting. I'm going to move my hands here so you can probably see it a little bit better. One, two, three twists. Nice and gently, you don't want to stress that pastry at all, okay? One, two, three, put it down. One, two, three, and put it down. Again, a little spray of water, it just helps the pastry to stick. And I'm just going to gently roll it up. Press it down. You can see, nice layering, very nice shape. Okay, I'm going to do one more. So here we go. Chocolate. Chocolate. Lift, twist, one, two, three. Lift, twist, one, two, three. Lift, twist, one, two, three. So I'm lifting the pastry, but I'm not actually stretching it or trying to elongate it at all. The whole idea is that the pastry is nice and relaxed and you get a nice even uh, pattern on the twist. Okay, so I'm going to square it up, roll it up again, and then just press it down to seal it. And here we go again. I may as well continue. Um, I'll just move all this pastry a little bit closer so that it's in range of the camera because I have it set up on a tripod. So this pastry was hand laminated earlier this morning. It's a uh, croissant dough. Uh, the rolling sequence was uh, three, four, four for the pan au chocolat. So I'm just going to set up all the chocolate bars now so that we can expedite and finish this fairly quick. I hope everybody is safe and well. Um, this COVID-19 virus is very serious. We're all at home. My son came back from Australia, Dylan, if you're watching. Hi, Dylan. He's enduring self-isolation at the moment. Uh, God love him, but it's a pain he has to go through for all our sakes. Otherwise, uh, we can make people sick. So he's confined to barracks for the time being, but he'll get through it. I'll be feeding him these later on. So again, twist, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so square them up. That's quite important. A little bit of spray. 
So for the spray bottle, I'm just using an old uh, sanitizer spray or a kitchen spray that I washed out and it just contains water. So the water is just going to help the pastry to stick that little bit better. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you're being safe. I hope you're being well. I send my wishes to your family, your friends, and I hope everybody gets through it. So another variety of this, the, the one I made for the Coupe de Mon Chocolatine, um, had an outer layer of chocolate uh, uh, bicolor. Just to give you a view of all of these, that's basically how they are. So I use a dividing tool, uh, pastry wheels, just like this, to divide the, the uh, cuts evenly. And I cut it using a long French knife. Again, uh, I have a very large knife here. It's uh, one I bought when I was in Taiwan. The blade is about 14 inches. So it helps, um, it helps when you're cutting to get a nice even cut. I'll just reset this camera now again. So here we go. Just make up the last few. So again, I'm twisting. Just three twists, nice and gentle. Don't stress the pastry. And then you get um, the twists look nice and even. They're all the same length. They're all the same shape. And there we go. Just gather them in together in the middle. Again, a spray of water. If you want to make them look really interesting, uh, you can put chocolate dough on one side or you can put uh, red dough on the other side. You roll them and you have two, you have white in the middle, chocolate on top, red on the bottom. They're just a nice little variant. So I hope you enjoy this video. God bless you all. Bye bye.